All right, welcome to Great Day, everybody. I'm Scott Haney. And I'm Caitlin Francis. Nicole is off today. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. How On are this you? MLK Junior Day. I hope you have a nice holiday, everybody. Uh, we are dealing with some icy conditions in parts of Northeast Connecticut, so I just want to give everybody a heads up before we get anywhere. Be careful driving up there, and it's creeping into Southeast Connecticut as well. We're going to get to the weather in just a second, but just want to give you an early warning that if you don't have to be out on the roads in Northeast and Southeast Connecticut, we're talking Tallinn, Wyndham, we're talking Middlesex, we're talking New London counties, just just be careful because uh, I got a picture from Jeff in Staffordville. He's like the ice is coating up the cars well, we from the some freezing, freezing rain. rain yeah. yeah, so freezing rain is never the a good thing. The roads have not been good this morning either. So thankfully, a lot of folks had the day off. No school for the kids, which but is good. So stay home. Stay, stay home. home. Yeah, All right, police. That. Police are looking for a wrong way driver who kept on driving after a state trooper tried to stop the car. It was all caught on the trooper's dash cam. The driver was driving the wrong way on I-91 just before 3 a.m. Sunday. The trooper tried to stop the person by using his vehicle, but it didn't work, and they got off the highway. Mm -hmm. Now investigators are looking for the dark-colored sedan with damage to the driver's side, as well as the person behind the wheel. Mm. All right, if you know anything about the vehicle, police are asking you to call them, and we'll continue to follow this case on the air and, of course, on the Channel 3 app. All but one Connecticut county is now back in the high level for COVID-19 cases. That means the CDC is back to recommending people wear masks. While at indoor gatherings, only New London County is still in the medium category, but mm. case numbers have been steadily rising over the last month. One death from COVID-19 has been reported in just the last week. So doctors say mask wearing is especially especially important right now. The respiratory illnesses are higher incidence in this time of the year anyway. And when we combine with the recent uptick in COVID-19 cases is more of a precaution. Now there is some good news. All right. Cases seem to be milder for many at this point. So if you are exposed though to the virus, doctors recommend masking up around anybody else wait a couple days before getting tested and then obviously follow cdc protocol all right you gonna plan to wear a mask you know what i still wear a mask on like public transit just Do depends you? on where i am you okay. know, like if i'm getting on a plane i was I'll... in the supermarket yesterday a lot of people had masks on i say about half the people had masks on half the people didn't mm -hmm. i was one that did not have it on i just uh i'm just gonna go without a mask and see I what think happens it depends i'm on covid how... i'm boosted i'm boosted i'm boosted so i personally feel like it just depends on how close you are to people right i'm not super close to people at the grocery store i'm not you know yeah, when no, you're on an airplane you're you don't super have anywhere close. to go no that's a good idea it's yeah. a good idea so uh, let us know what you're thinking yeah. okay hey let's get to that great day at 9 a weather all right um you're tracking some snow showers but don't be fooled there's some sleet mixing in there's some freezing rain coming down again it's all in parts of tolland wyndham New London and Middlesex counties. You can see it right there on the Doppler. Now it is getting a little bit better uh, as this continues to churn its way from north to due south. There's a lot more moisture just to the east of Connecticut as this offshore storm system continues to plague us. So we're going to ask you budget in a lot of extra travel time. If you can stay off the roads for another hour or so, especially in eastern Connecticut, that would be a great idea. Let's take a look at early morning future cash. You'll see it winds down, but we still can't rule out the possibility of some snow showers throughout the afternoon. This is 5 p.m. in northeast and southeast Connecticut. Then that winds down and tonight we should be under mostly clear skies. Tomorrow looks like a better day with increasing clouds and a chance for a rain shower in the afternoon. So here's the rest of today. Temperatures again 40. Normal daytime high is about 35 and then we'll clear things out for tonight. But if you are out and about or plan to be out and about in the next hour or so, particularly in northeast and southeast Connecticut, again an early warning that there will be some icy spots. Be careful. Be careful. I got to say. And we say it we say it every day. Exactly. I know. The driving out there, people seem to be going faster and faster. Very, very I don't know what scary. the deal is. Everybody's got to slow it down. Slow it down. Slow okay. it down. Well, the fascination with life as a royal is not slowing down. Prince Harry's new memoir is now in the Guinness Book of World Records. Mm -hmm. Harry's explosive book called Spare, which I read portions of this you, weekend. 40 pages. 40 pages. I'm in 40 and I'm in deep. It was released <laughs> last Tuesday. The book sold more than 1.4 million copies in the U.S., Canada, and Britain on its release day. And it is now the fastest selling nonfiction book of all time, according to Guinness Book of World Records. Okay, the reason why you're reading it is because it is our next 
book for the Great Day Connecticut Book Club. I think I would read it anyway. Would it's, you? Yeah, I'm totally... Uh, uh, it's, You're enthralled. Uh, I'm enthralled. In the first 40 pages, you are going to get... Well, I'm not giving you any secrets here. I, I don't know okay, the end of the book. there have been so many spoilers, though. If you've been on the internet in the last two weeks, I think you get a good bit of what the book is going to be. Yeah, and then just in the first 40 pages, you're going to get through the death of his mother, which is particularly heart-wrenching. Yeah. I mean, well, for I mean, a 12-year-old boy, William was like 14. It, it, you know? it, yeah, exactly. It was it was heart-wrenching for a I normal know. human being. I cannot imagine being the son of Princess Diana, Harry, and what Will went through. Incredibly difficult. So that's where I am in the book. If you are reading it and want to share your thoughts, let me know at SHaneyWFSB.com. There are a lot of people sharing their thoughts a on this A lot of people sharing their thoughts. So, so it is a good reading so far. A lot of people are 40 million copies sold. A lot of people are reading it. So, and a lot of people are buying it. It's incredible. Yep. Uh, Barnes & Noble had a good deal, 30% off, and then I used my discount because I'm a member, so I got it for like 24 bucks. Oh, I thought you got it from Caitlin Amato. Uh, no, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, got it, I got it on my own. She ordered four copies. Maybe I'll take the other one. Yeah, RJ Julia also is... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Our producer Becky Our says producer, she wants one. Becky, you can we have can one. all share. It's okay. All right, Mattel is trying to get younger kids into playing Barbie. This was my favorite thing to do. All right, the doll maker just created a new doll specifically for preschoolers. My first Barbie is for kids three years and older. This They're is kind of cool, bigger. right? A little bit bigger. Yeah, you can see the size difference there. Then the normal Barbies, they've got softer bodies. The doll has a summer beach look. Cool. Comes in four different skin tones. Mattel says they came up with the idea after talking to parents of preschoolers. I like this. Now, there's a question in here. It says, did you play with <laughs> Barbies as a kid? Absolutely. I had my Ken doll and I loved it. Actually, I didn't. I played with G.I. Joe's. I'm just being honest. It's all the same. It's all the same, it's in my kinda, opinion. Yeah, G.I. Joe is so cool. I had Peach Fuzz G.I. Joe. He actually had a beard, <laughs> which was the most, the coolest thing ever, but I never really did play with Barbie. I guess I every did. now and then I played with I some Barbies. I loved Barbies. I loved Barbies. All my young friends were girls, so they were always playing with Barbies, so I had no choice. I just Barbie, jumped in. Barbie, Skipper, Ken, the whole crew. The whole crew. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I yeah. like that.